Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be setting up the Ubico Authenticator software for Linux. In this case, Debian Linux. First, we'll before we proceed any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel member, Mislav, for being subscribed. They get early access to videos such as this one right here, a little badge next to the name on comments and live streams, and I get a notification on my phone when they comment, so they get priority response. So why not become one so you get the same? Anyway, let's get further into the video. So, what is a Ubico YubiKey? Well, a YubiKey is a security key developed by the company Ubico. They are a physical two-factor authentication for, well, ease, for ease of use security, basically. Now, you can use this for all sorts of things, but it's a physical... A prevention against uh, online bad actors as they advertise it and it is a way of securing yourself digitally against potential attackers now these ubi keys come in all sorts and all sorts of shapes and sizes and what have you and so on and so forth but in realistic terms um what you may be using as a standard ubi key user is something like this it's a Ubico 5 it's an NFC it's just plug into your computer with USB-C or slap it against the back of your phone for uh USB well NFC or if you've got NFC you'll come in, well if you've got the USB-C it's just plug into your phone and then figure out a way of using it with the computer but in this case we're actually going to be looking at and setting up the uh, pass keys for uh a Ubico key using their software. Now, fortunately, because Ubico know their audience and know exactly who they're selling to, uh, they've actually set it up so you can have, you can set it up using Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android, which, if you ask me, is much, much better than a lot of other security companies are doing because they're doing this straight off the bat. Now, that's pretty bloody cool. Now, you've got a choice of software to choose from. You can download directly for Linux, Mac OS through their app store or directly from the software. So the .dmg packages uh, for Windows, again, their app software store. I'm not going to call it an app store because it's a program, not an app. Uh, directly for through an EXE or an MSI. I don't know. I've not tried to download it because I won't use it with Windows. Uh, you've also got Android and iOS. But in my case just want the Ubico Authenticator for Linux directly. And as we can see, we have Ubico Authenticator 7.00.linux.tar.gz. This is what it looks like. So first things first, we are just going to copy this to the desktop. So copy, bring it down, bring it down, and then paste this in. Just to prove that I am indeed on Linux, we will pull up... Uh, this I've been doing some more Git stuff, so but this will just clear. And then again, NeonFetch, this is exactly what I'm using. It's got all my three monitors. It's the real deal. Also, that is a nice looking number. It's a shame it wasn't 8888. But now we've got the Ubico Authenticator. It is 103.8 megabytes, and it was I last updated this in April of 2024, so it's reasonably up to date. Now, when you open this up, this is what you're given. It wants you to read it. So run the authenticator, uh, execute the binary by double clicking and running it like that. If you have PC SCD installed, uh, running for authenticator to work on Ubuntu, we do that. Note the QR code scanning feature requires GNOME screenshot when using Wayland. And of course you can then execute the following commands to integrate it directly in. So how easy how easy is it to actually do well let's find out in real time because i've never actually tried this before so we need to install well we ha we don't have to install pc scd but we will just out of argument stake so sudo apps install pc scd double password pulls it and then yep So, PCSCD is now installed. If we look here, we have Authenticator, data, data, Desktop Integration, Helper, Lib, Linux Support, and the README documentation. 
now to run the basic and to get it working all we have to do is just do uh, sudo dot slash authenticator and here we go that's it that's all we need to look at all we need to care about now to actually work it i, t I will take a yubikey here that said yubico yubikey into my system and as we can see here this is my yubikey it is alive i that isn't correct because that should be purple because on my phone i have it set to purple you can enable or disable certain stuff so i will enable that as well because it wasn't previously enabled that must be a new thing that i haven't quite got yet but oh well and bada bing we can change application preferences as it would just go dark mode because but why doesn't it have dark mode so there's all sorts of authentication management this management key is changed yeah so there's no need to worry and if we just yank it out the software goes i don't know what's going on so that's good so let's try and integrate it directly with the system now it is just as simple as uh, dot slash a desktop integration hyphen hyphen install create the file so if we do yubico this is now the actual physical it's not the actual physical but it's the actual software properly installed on the system because we've actually set it up so we currently have all of this again if we just insert our yubikey uh we've got all sorts i'm just gonna quickly just drag that there to make sure i'm not exposing myself if i i'm not so that's fine but this is the account section again just pull that here to make sure i'm not exposing myself uh, as we can see here this is the fido2 pin um whenever you get a yubikey and set it up they recommend you set up a pin so you can access your fido2 will access all of the stuff that's stored on your yubikey so in my case i'm just gonna make sure i enter the pin correctly so and we have a load of emails that i will not be showing but as we can see here, there's a bunch of uh, at gmails.com. That is all of my emails that I have currently set to this. And they're not all for Google. Uh, they are spread across Google as well as here's a GitHub one and here's a Amazon one. And again, of course, with the certificates, there's no certificate loaded. So if we wanted to, we could. Um, again, it is a wonderful bit of software. I need to once again change that to purple because purple is the nicest looking in my opinion. As we can see here, the UBHSM authentication is now set up properly. So it is just a wonderful bit of software that works. We can set it up to do all sorts of stuff, challenge response, program of challenge response credential, all that if we wanted to set up long, long touch and short touch. And as we can see, the firmware is 5.71. It's a really useful tool for security i myself have used it plenty of times already and it is wonderful i have used it with all sorts if i just quickly um move closer to the this so hang on so this is what it is. It is on a Yubico key port. So I can do this with it. There we go. So it's on a keychain type thing. And it also takes keys as well. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's worked fantastically. It's nice. It's sturdy. The YubiKey is um IP65 rating, so it's basically waterproof up to 50 meters, if memory serves me correct. But it's just a really nice piece of kit. And I would absolutely recommend you get it if you do. Anyway, this has been how to set up a YubiKey software and use a YubiKey. If you're not a subscriber, maybe consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you liked it, disliked it if you disliked it. They both seem to work, even though you can access one of them. I have been Nick.
You have been amazing, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and don't panic when you use Linux. Goodbye.